Hey guys, what's up? Lord Beecher again here, your load of video games. And welcome to my new Let's Play series. We are going to be tackling Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. This is a game I have been wanting to play for quite a while now, and I haven't touched it just because I wanted to Let's Play for you guys. As you guys know, I love to Let's Play series blind, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Hey, adventure log. Um, little confession that I have to make. I have not played a lot of Dragon Quest. The only Dragon Quest games that I have played have been eight and nine. No, eight and ten. Yeah, eight and ten. Ten was the DS one, I believe one. Yeah. So eight and ten have been the only two Dragon Quest games that I have played. Oh, okay. Alright, that. Let's go for the first one. Name! Draconian Quest. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind that. Oh, no, that. That seems hard on the next level. Well, this is our name. Let's input it. M I C H I R U. Yes, Meecher. Alright, this one's fine. The brightness is good. If anything, I just do it on my Elgato. I just adjust the brightness there, because it's easier. This game is very loud, though. Yes. Get the bright, uh, adventure log successfully created. Can I get an actual, like, option menu so I can the volume a little bit? I was like, down, down, down. Oh, what are you, little invisible tiny thing that holds, like, a universe on you? That is not dangerous at all. Ah, I love Dragon Quest characters. Oh my god. You're about to get stomped. What? Okay, people, can't you see that? Well, time to go inside. Start of raining. Can't believe I'm playing this, finally. Of all whole bunch of old people here. This child he is the one. There's the mark. A what? There's no mistaking it. Savior of the world. Aw. Hello, you creepy thing don't open that it's thundering so plus raining you don't want to what just happened in a span of how long Run, child, run! Oh, these guys get... If you guys watch on my Trails of Cold Steel 3 series, I did say one of the monsters was referencing one of the monsters here from Dragon Quest games. It's not this one, obviously. Like, it was very close. It was a killing machine or... Run, child! Run as fast as your tiny legs can carry you! Oh no! Oh...
All right, morning came. No, they killed my sister. Oh, I have been abandoned. What in the heavens are you doing here? And after that awful storm too. However, did you survive? That's a good question. Gaga go go. What's this? Let's just a drop of water, come on. Oh, pretty big baby. Oh, big ass head too. <laughs> For this first episode, I'm going to record probably an hour and a half. I like my first episode to always be a little bit longer. Just so you guys get a feel for the game. Feel for my to later. We're all grown up now. Why am I on top of a tree? Do I think I'm a monkey? Oh, who are you? Are you my love interest? Hello, I am Michiru. Here's your scarf. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. That's gonna be my lady, but apparently that is her scarf. Me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. What a ditz. Ditz. Clutz and ditz together, apparently. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're gonna be climbing all the way up there. That's a ceremony? Uh, just call it rock climbing. <laughs> what do you want, pup? Can I pet you? Like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. No, yeah, let's not. Let's actually go. <laughs> but you gotta wait up for me too. God, this game is gorgeous. Ah, look at this. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. Ah, uh, I can't believe I'm playing this. Holy shit. Ah, uh, woof, woof, woof. All right. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what? It moves me automatically? What? How do I access the menu? Okay. Uh, missile. No. Miscellaneous. System settings. Volume settings. Music. Let's lower you right down to here. Sound effects. Good there. I think. An 8 for these. Five for music, because music is uh, very, very loud. Yeah. yeah. Special rewards? Oh yeah, these things I got from DLC. So this is the... this is the DLC. Quest catalog, info, feel all. Oh my god, that's so. Alright, cobblestone. Cobblestone great. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> great sword. Can I, can, uh, can I equip it? Oh my god, these are from Dragon Quest VIII. Holy... Healers... Clairvoyant, which is MP... What are the... Ah... Uh, these are for skill points. But I'm not gonna be using... Oh my god, look at me! Holy shit! I look badass! <laughs> oh, important things. Hey now, the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't you keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, 
If you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck up for what to do, have a chat with the folk with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. I have no idea how I know that, but I just know it. Just press square and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're at it, looking at the map, use that right the tilty thing to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Alright. You got something else too? Okay, you'd say the same thing again. Oh my! <gasps> I jump! Oh! I jump! I jump! Oh my god. Alright. Let's keep going forward then. Oh my god, I jump! Hi! Oh ho! Michiru! Seeing you at my tier camp also for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know? No, you've grown up now, and that means you're going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now, it's time for you were on your way. Then up to the top, it prays to the spirit of the land, then come down and tell us how you like the view. Oh! And if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing triangle and selecting party talk. You might have some useful tips for you. Oh, just look at you, Michiru. My little boy. All grown up. Now, be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb the tower together. Oh, and if, ever, and if you ever lose your way, just follow me. That dog's got more sense than any of us do. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will just be fine. And I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you to get back. Mm-mm. Oh, that's what I like. Alright. Uh, party talk. What is this? This is a new... It's our big day, Michiru. We finally get to go into the ceremony. We're going to be grown-ups at last. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's as excited as we are. Come on, let's get moving. We don't want her to get to the top before us. You know what that means, but we're adults, right? You know, why don't you and me just go alone together and grab some beer? Huh? Yeah, we're old enough to drink. But we're adults, so we could do anything we want. Yeah. And we can drink, right? Oh, brother. This is gonna be enlightening. Yeah! <laughs> we get all the beer in the world. Hey, father. Goodbye, father. Hey, random lady. Goodbye, random lady. I'm here with you. <clears throat> Let me put this there. We're gonna climb all that way. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? Yep, that's apparently how it goes. I, I would not know, but yes, that is how it goes. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. Then let's do I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself this chief? Well, then you're just clumsy and a ditz, like I said. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Oh, great. I'm going to be the scapegoat. <laughs> Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. What? Slimes. Really? Slimes. Ah, monsters! They're slimes! Why are you screaming, lady? Gemma, calm down. It's just slimes. Let me, the hero from Dragon Quest VIII, I mean, um... Uh, yeah, me, save the, save you. Nothing I can't handle. A group of slimes draws near. Fight. Attack. Eight points of damage. 
Okay. Oh, so they tell you which one's low. Okay. I'm attacking this one, though. Paralyzed with fear. Oh, well, thank you. Though I can't use any spells. Thank you. Did that just drop from the sky? What if it dropped on my head? Excuse you? Medicinal herb. What if that dropped on my head? What? Crikey. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Excuse me, what? Those are weak. Very weak at that. How weak are you? Where are you going? We're not supposed... Are we supposed to go in the cave? And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. <sighs> what do you complain? I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. You don't say. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Sure. Let's go. Amateur etymologist. Awarded for crafting ten different types of item. Ooh. Nice. Let's explore first. But me too. No. We're, ooh, map. All right. Map by hitting the square button. As always, guys, I am pl- Ah, ha, ha, ha. See? This is why you explore. A pot lid. Can I actually equip it? Equipment. Uh, pot lid. Oh, can't. But I can do- yeah, I can do it with this, but not with the great sword. Oh, okay. Because a great sword- yeah, a great sword is double-handed. Do I not get the ability to- mm, Choose whatever weapon I want? I can just equip it from the start? That's interesting. Unless greatsword and swords are just in the same category. Could be. Ooh, what if I find a katana? That'd be cool. Cobblestone Tor. God. I love these games. Look at this. Amazing. Oh, oh, I'll just... Careful. How do fights start now? M more monsters! I don't think they spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. Get close enough to a monster and a small orange arrow will appear. Just above them, press X to give them a whitey wall- a whitey wallop. We'll be a weapon, lowering their HP before the battle has begun. I want to try springing a preemptive attack on that slime over there. Okay. It did one hit point. Okay, that's not very... Alright, just cheer me on, I guess. Tough little blighters, aren't they? They're not. Right, let's go this way. Ooh. I thought there was something there. I know I saw something over here. Oh, shiny! Medicinal herb. Anything else? God. Oh my god, I just jumped down from all that. Alright, there's two slimes here. More slimes. Alright, I think this is gonna be the same approach I used in my Trails of Cold Steel series. And just show one battle off. And since we obviously would cover it, We won't need to cover it again. Just 
do it once, I guess. Now I'll probably show these dungeons. Hey, well done. Hey, new spell learned. One to two. I always like leveling a little bit in these dungeons. Two maximum, a four maximum MP, plus two strength, resilience. Wow. Frizz! Alright. For those who don't know and just watch my fi uh, Fire Emblem Let's Play or Trolls of Cold Steel, Fritz is basically a fire spell. If it was Fira or anything else. More slimes. Ah, I didn't. New enemy up here. And this is a group of needlers. I've never seen this one before. As you see, I got recovered from everything. Okay, that did so much for you. I recovered everything. After you level up, you recover. Like almost in every game. These aren't very tough. But they can heal, so that might pose a problem to you if you're not strong enough, but uh, I'm feeling you're gonna be strong enough if you have the things I have. What's here? Can you get out of the way? Ooh, pots. These are good because you always get items. Can't you just, you know, instead of doing that, you could literally just do the normal and just smash it with your sword. Like, you know, every other protagonist does. Alright, so, besides the pots, there were nothing there. Always keeping an eye out for the shinies. Because you... Okay, I thought that was a shiny for a second. Because you never know why they might... Ooh, there it is. Talking about shinies. Copper ore. Alright, if this is anything like any other Dragon Quest game, that's going to be for alchemy. Can I get to level 3 before I leave the cave? No, I cannot. Most of the things I'm just grind off screen again. Like I did? Well, not really grind. Cool. Sometimes I will. Look at all this fog. Uh, is this normal, do you think? Well, we are high up in a mountain after exiting a cave, so pretty sure. If it's colder, then fog forms. Help! Help me! What? Cole? What? Uh, uh, Why is the kid here? Uh, quick! You have to help him. I guess I do. <laughs> okay. What is that? Calm down it's with your evil laugh. It's more monsters. Great. It's two. All right, so let's use a spell because usually that's what we get. We get it just in time, always for the bosses. Ooh. That's love. That did ten damage. Crikey. Oh, okay, sure. You're just gonna miss like that, huh? Yeah. And that one's gone. That's a lot. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Can you heal my MP too? Oh my god, of it. Well, now I can just attack it. And it should... Yes. That was not hard at all. 40 experience points. I thought that would take me to level 4, honestly. But that's good, though. Why are you here, kid? 
sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because it would be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. Oh, looks like you just got what you deserved, I guess. But I'm glad you're safe, kid. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. Things are changing. Times sure have changed. Now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Sandy's like, bitch, don't tell me what to do. I'm no babysitter. And it take me tell me to take this run back to the village? Like, are you freaking kidding me? Did you see how I demolished that smog? Did you fucking see me? Did you tell me to take this run there? Uh, fine, I guess. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. It's Gemma. I was like, Gemma. Guess you're a babysitter, you duty. Bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Not really. Those monsters are pretty weak, but... All right. Time to climb it, I guess. To the top now. And it's raining. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Let's really not stop to think about it. All right. Uh, anything else? Exploring is always the girl. Get out of the way. Oh, shiny. Pink pine. Oh god, I can't see. What is this? Just these vines to climb and you'll be nearly there. Don't go losing your grip. Alright, time to go up. Am I blind or did I not see this before? Oh well. Off we go. This way to the top. Watch your step. I'm gonna shimmy my way through. This is basically covering everything we need to know about dungeons, explorations, how to traverse, looking out for items. Oh god. Oh, okay, I'll just jump off. There's a... Oh no, that's not a shiny, that's a rock. Wait, what did that say? Back! Not much further now. Keep close to the cliffs and don't let your nerves get the better of you. Okay, that's... Why would I be nervous? It's just a little climb. Another cave? Okay. Is there going to be monsters in here too? Oh, this is a small one because it's part of the tour. I'm back out into the rain. Here we are at last. Finally. We both have bandanas, so that yeah, we're matching. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. I thought that was in real Better life. Say the and get this ceremony over with, eh? Yep. What, what was that? That does not sound very pleasant. Wind Waker vibes. Oh. What the? Oh God! Save her. Yo, meet her. Help me! Help! I'm on my way. Oh God! Gotcha. Pull her up. I got you. Hurry up and help me pull you up, girl. Lift that arm. Lift that arm. What the? Eh. What? Excuse me, but Nani the fuck? What the fuck was that? We're alive. What? But how? That that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. I 
kind of did without knowing, but I guess. Oh, well. Uh, there you go. Is my thingy just shining now? Look, the mark on your hand. Yeah, it's shining. Oh, huh? now it's not. Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. I mean, we both were to be basically dead, but you know. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Yeah, let's hurry up and <laughs> finish it so we can get down. Humble folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. Erdrea, that's the name of the continent we're in, okay? Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. And just with that prayer, the skies just lit up. <gasps> wow. All right. Look. <sighs> that is a gorgeous view, though. She is correct. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. Pretty huge by the looks of it. <laughs> Which is amazing. Well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? Yeah, let's go celebrate and drink some beer. I was actually hoping for something more, but I guess. But, did you want her to smoke a cigarette? Oh, for God's sake. Never mind. Let's let's just go down, shall we? They'll all be yeah. waiting for us at the bottom. Right. We shall go. Make me all cool and shit. Anything here, though? There's shiny. There's a shiny. I spot a shiny. Pink pine. Oh. Uh. Okay. I'm like, uh. I'm stuck. Help. Help. Anything back here? Sometimes they like to hide things. Nothing? This looks like a great hiding spot, honestly. All right, let's head down. Mitra and Gemma make their way. Gemma make their way back to the bottom of the tour. I like the girl with the Naginata though. That looks... Okay, I guess thank you for teleporting back to the bottom. Okay. All right, now what? Here? Auto run. Oh, it just runs for me. Okay. It's just in one direction. Okay. I'd rather just do it myself then. Hey guys. We're back. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, we kind of summoned it, but you know. What happened to the... Mitra explains what happened on top of the tour. Well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Yeah, uh, apparently, even though all those monsters were pretty weak. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear. 
How was the view from the top? Amazing, breathtaking, just marvelous. I was actually talking to my granddaughter. Oh, uh, my bad, I guess. Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Yeah, that's quite a view. I am still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Yeah, it's a big world. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Oh, I won't. I'll go and tell Mum about that. <laughs> Everybody's gonna fetch the water. Yep. Let's head home. And we can drink some beer. <sighs> yes, me true. We're gonna drink some beer. All right, sparkly spots. The church. What if we're ascending the top of cobblestone tour and ah, coming of age? Hey, there are you. So, the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones and you'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to be for you must be tired of forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Uh, I guess thank you. Hey there, big guy. Oops, my bad. I totally did not mean to do that. <gasps> He just... Oh, okay. He's here. Alright. Little bird told me you and your mate, Chema, went to the top of the door back and back. Well, a little boy no more, Michu. You're a man. Oh, here's some advice. One blow to another. Whatever you're doing, enjoy. No one knows how long they got. So make the most of it. Thanks for the advice. Wait, is this the same thing as before? No, I can't. Dang it. Six gold coins. Wait. I saw something here on the map. I was like, I'm looking at the map from the corner of my eye, and I could barely see this so I want to check it out but why is this ladder so high where am I going okay please don't tell me this is nothing pots copper ore seed of agility nothing 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 seven gold coins so seven gold coins copper ore and seed of agility which that's pretty good Oh my god, I just jumped out. Wait. Oh, that's insane, and I take no damage for whatever reason. Okay, wow. Ooh. And we can't go through it. Alright. Oh, I'm going the correct way. Okay, so we are not going this way. Sorry, Sandy. I'm gonna keep exploring the village. And Tittletol Herb. That cures poison, I believe. Here, you can actually save your game and a lot of stuff that you don't need to worry about now 
And I'm not gonna do that right now, so let's continue. Just showing off some stuff that you guys might find interesting and some know-hows or no to do's There's a chest here. I'm at the wrong side because I don't know how to open chests. Super stick, really. I guess we can just clobber things with a stick. That works. Ooh. Hero coming in. Hey, how's it going? You're cooking? Alright. Don't mind me just rummaging through your house and destroying your barrels because... COINS! Uh, me and my husband were actually saving that for our wedding at a- Alright! Thank you again for the six gold coins. Uh, I guess you're welcome. Oh, boy. Did you stop to yourself? Yep. I guess that works. Alright. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I forgot I had a jump button. Many people would be probably yelling at me. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but I do not... I'm not used to having a jump button on freaking Dragon Quest, of all things, okay? I am not used to this. So please forgive me. Please forgive me being a total idiot. Oh, I missed something. Parking component right out on the cover. Mitra takes the show on the show, takes a closer look. Incredible, absolutely incredible. The puns keep flooding into my mind. I never experienced anything like it. Get a load of this one. We could show visitors around the great stone spire beyond the village and call it Cobblestone Tour. There's plenty more where that came from. They just won't stop. It's like divine inspiration. Here's another. The mother said. She'd throw her son from a cliff if he didn't eat his vegetables, but it was a bluff. Mm. Mm. It's like the god of hil hilarity has granted me his holy blessing. I must tell Jim right away. I guess this is Jim's house. And that guy that I called an old fart that stinks is the dad. Whoops. My bad, Gemma. Oh, don't worry. You're still getting late tonight. Getting late? Please, just never mind. Just, just kill me. Oh. I can climb. Oh, if I don't keep falling. Oops, I'm breaking my own place. Fluffy feather. Okay, wrong side, I guess. My bad. 50 gold coins. Like every single thing. Anything? Oh, there is sparkly. Fresh water. That's nice. Uh, have to go down again. Why do you do this to me? Stop making me go up here. Let's head into my house. Oh, there, Mom. Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. Oh, what can I say? I'm a man of the I people. Hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. Was that a little bit of sarcasm I heard? Mother dear? <laughs> of course not. Quite Guess the not. opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? I can say I'm electrified. That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Yep. Here Shocking, isn't it? I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary. 
But it seems his grandfather was right all along. I just like to go with the flow of the things because, you know, I was with the flow of the water because I was born and, well, I was carried by the flow of the river. <laughs> I know I suck. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Okay. Here, this belongs to you. Uh, pendant. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. And that is, you've been cheating on him? It's... how can I put this now? Um, well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. Huh? What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Mud isn't clear. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Oh. Crikey. <laughs> it's okay, well, Mom. I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. All right, all right. <laughs> the reincarnation of the luminary. Major tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually, things go down on the village, right? Like always? No, I'm up. Alright, then let's leave. Hmm. Oh, I can open cabinets. Plain clothes. Medicinal herb. Completely forgot to check my house, but I remember that I haven't explored this yet. Always good to check every single pot you encounter or barrel. All right, let's head outside. Where do we need to go? Oh, hey, Gemma. What's up? Sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? No. I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? Now I have a scarf. You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. And get married and all. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. I know it's hard. <laughs> God, you're cute. You're so bubbly too. 
I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. Always here. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. Mm. That's his star, right there. The big purple one, obviously. <sighs> What's wrong? How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. Huh? I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Well, you can come with if you want. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Well, we're off to a little date, right? I guess goodbye, not. old friend. But don't say goodbye. You can. <laughs> you can come with me. Exhausted after his long day, Mitru finally falls into a restless slumber. Then, morning comes. I do forget how loud it sounds, Mr. Ling. My bad. <laughs> I still have the same clothes, so... Yeah. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. <sighs> Sorry. You won't forget him, will you? Of course not. He was a fine, upstanding man. The pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Of course, Mom. I oh, got by this. By the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. I won't. Why don't you visit the village shop and head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. You definitely are right. You're definitely right. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Alright. And out I go. Wait. Hello, old man. Quest. And you are what? I heard all about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make. And you just this youngster. Well, before you head off, Maybe visit the shop, you know where it is. Of course, down the slope, across the river. Once you stocked up, head to the village entrance, the north. I'll be waiting to see you off. Alright, thank you. And, hey. Deary, dear me, what am I going to do? Uh, oh, if it isn't young Mitru. You came along just at the right time. I've got a favor to ask of you, see? The other day, I was playing with my lad, uh, you know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he's got this fluffy feather that he loves, and, well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wing only blew it as far as the roof to your shed. I go get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights, I'm afraid. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow, so I was wondering if you mind clambering up there getting it back for me. You'd be doing me a huge favor, I'm telling you. The man wants you to retrieve his son's flurry feather from the roof of your shed. Sure. I knew you'd help me out. You've always paid attention to what the priest said in the church. You know, that stuff about always being kind to others. You're a fine fellow, and no mistake. Now, there's no time to lose. My son's desperate to get his beloved feather back. Hurry on to... Oh, hurry on over to your shed. I'm sure you've climbed onto your fair share of roofs, but just find something clamber onto, press zero to square up, to jump there. Square. Right. Once you've found that fluffy flurry feather, bring it back here. I'll see if I can't give it you a little something in return. Best of luck! 
People accepts the people's friend request. There you are, Mitru. Let's see the feather. Would you mind letting me have it? No! Hey, what are you playing at? Do I really have to remind you again of all that stuff the priest says? Always saying about being kind to others? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here you go. Mitru hands over the flurry feather. Thanks! I knew you wouldn't let me down. I can't wait to see the look on my boy's face. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something in return. You're still sleeping hibiscus. And that's not all. I've got a tip for you. I hope you'll find it useful. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, look for a purple speech bubble above their heads. Listen to what they have to say, and see if you can do anything to help. It always pays to be kind to others. But don't feel just that just because someone's share their woes with you, you have to help them out right away. You can always come back to when you want a little change of pace, or if you're not sure what to do next. Anyway, thanks again, Mitru. I really owe you one. Now, just remember, whatever's waiting for you up ahead, be kind to others, and you'll do just fine. Success! This quest has been transgressed with finesse. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, this is so wonderful. Now, let's go to the item shop then. Let's see what is new. Here it is. Hey, lady. Bandana. It's the same in wafers clothes. Yeah, let's get that. Me true. Yes, let's equip it. Ah, there's my purple thingy. Suppress stick, really. I mean, I already have a bandana that works, so that's fine. Oh, we can sell stuff. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, no. Why would I want to sell that? I don't need to sell anything else. Alright, thank you. Now, off we go. It's this. No, it's not this way. It's the other way, right? Helidor. Alright, yeah. Hey, mom, everybody's here. So, this is it. My little soldier's really leaving. You might not be back for a while. We said all your goodbyes, so, ready? Yes, let's go. Well, off you go then. Oh. Mom, don't worry. But I'll be back to visit. One day you're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> Thank you, Tenson. To think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... What do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. <laughs> we never thought well. there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of Luminaries of all things. Why is it that surprising? You know who the luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. I know, but still. You know. When you meet the king of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Yeah. 
greedy old man. Come on, man. I'm only joking, of course. Sure. thought. Yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. You gotta steal for it then. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Hope so. Eh, probably. It will, most likely. Because I do tend to wander off. Ooh, that's my horse. Nice. Beautiful horse. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. That will definitely speed me up. On I go. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. I can smell the stink. You Don't cry, Mom. Safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. I will. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Wait. Gemma. Hey. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Receives Gemma's charm. Keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? I will. I definitely will. Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? I will never. And I got your charm too. Take care. We'll be waiting for you. I'll remember. I got you guys close to my heart. This is my home. Onwards I go. The dazzle spells and certain other abilities can blind those they target, causing their attacks to miss their mark. This effect well, it won't affect their spells, yeah. Gives them blind. Where's our incredible convenient? Way to cover large amounts of ground in a very limited time, very little time. But you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. In despair, though, a ring of one of the many summoning bells dotted around Eldrea will soon bring your faithful friend galloping back to your side. Nice. Alright. If we can't. Whoops. So many slimes, so many. No. They can run away. What about you? A group of enemies appeared. I have no abilities right now. Wow, that's tough. Accelerate. Oh, but yeah, you're not gonna hit me. I should have been equipping this from the start. I just did not check that at all. all right, there we go. Level four. Nice. Let me check these ruins. Ooh, imagine if I fell. Okay, I can't fall. I'm like easing my way down there. And I can't go this way. Wait! Not to go anywhere near the mango grove. Monster there will have your guts for guard. No. If you're headed for Helidor, you need to go straight there. You need to go straight there. Okay, my bad, I guess. 
Did these respawn? Or am I stupid? Oh, here's a sparkly. I haven't been fighting monsters and I found a sparkly. But I'm gonna... Also, I found out that you can see where your horse is on the map. Also, the slimes are scared of me. Whoa, what the? The power of pep. If a character is attacked a lot or undergoes certain other trials and tribulation, they'll eventually enter an un... an ervated state known as being pepped up, which will boost their martial might for a while, but nothing lasts forever. After several turns have passed, they'll lose their glow and go back to being their normal selves. However, any characters who are pepped up when a battle ends will still be so when the next one begins. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting to know. I showed this because that was interesting to know. All right, let's get on our horse. And we can't go that way, I guess, either. So let's just keep going forward. I'm guessing this is the way to go. Nothing. Yeah, I explored everything. Onward, my steed. And always be on the lookout for shinies and chests. Drakies! Oh, you're not escaping. I need to fight you. <laughs> oh, I love these monsters. They're so cute. Reason why I know some of these mod game stills, even though, you know, Dragon Quest 8 came out very long time ago, like years ago. It was the PlayStation 2 era. Hey, low 5! Learn a new spell. Heal! Three skill points. Every time a party member levels up, they will learn some skill points. Oh, this is what I was thinking. As the name suggests, these are used to acquire new spells and abilities. To use them, open up the character builder. From the miscellaneous menu. Use your skill points right away. Yes. Alright, if the character builder is what you is where you can use your skill points to teach your party members new spells and abilities and also improve their attributes. When you lock a particular panel, the one surrounding it will become available, expanding your options even further. Think carefully about what to unlock when and work your way to the ultimate abilities. This is new. Swords, great swords, sword mastery. Huh. Hallie Chopper. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Attack power wielding great sword. Okay, wow. Actually, interesting. This is sword mastery. This is great swords up to here. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right. Actually, pretty interesting. And I'm back on my horse, I guess. Sure. That was weird. All right, looking at my map. Always be on the lookout on your map. What the heck are you? You're a... Ah, I think I know what you are. Cruel kill me. Oh! Okay. You know what, I'm killing this slime. Screw you. See? Let's see you attack now. Oh. It just increases my guard. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, <laughs> I try to stop it. Wow, that is brutal. All right, like always, just fight everything. Oh my God, that's a lot. Ooh, there's a chest here. I can open it here. All right. And I can use this here. Seed of life, HP. Yeah, we're using it immediately. 33 to 38. Ooh, bunnies. Even though I know they're gonna attack me. All right, slime goes first. And you're gone. Trails of Cold Steel, this is going to be a lot of cutting because of battles. Oh. What? Oh! <laughs> I don't get EXP, but that's so funny. Oh my god. Guess what we're going to do? Oh, hello there. Rough Rider, word for sending 20 enemies and monsters flying while riding mount. Oh, okay, the thing! Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Hold on a second! Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, I am familiar, just kill everything. Because that's where I come in. All right, teach away, I guess. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. Nice. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers mm. that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all um. kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Okay. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Oh boy. Sure, I guess. Alright. Let's see this campfire. Yes. Rest, I said you for help. Okay. I can't leave the campfire and continue our adventure. Do I go at night time? <gasps> it is night time! What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Aha! Chest here. 80 gold coins. You can see on the map of... I thought those were monsters. Oh, Drakis are here. What am I... What are you... What? Uh... 
Okay. There's a shiny. Strong medicine. I'll take that. Up I go. My horse is not here, right? No, it's not. I'll just call it, I guess. All right. So, down here, what do I get? Okay, I, I can go down here. Jug of fresh water. things. What the heck are those? Oh, I can't do anything with them. I just phased through my horse. Okay. Isn't this where I came from? Oh. All right. Lampling. Oh my god, it does fizz. Frizz, I mean. Not fizz. I'm thinking for you first then. They're strong. 23 experience. Oh no, you're not running away. That's Emerald Coast that way. And obviously I can't go there. There's a sleeping one here? Oh, I thought that was sleeping. this Platy punk well I guess I'm fighting it and killing it while it sleeps oh it awoke oh my god that's a lot of damage you hit pretty hard interesting Hammer Bros. It's becoming daytime, so that's good. These hit hard, if I remember correctly. Oh, if it gets a hit, because they miss a lot, but if they connect, oh my lord, they're gonna hit you hard. Only P. Single file. What are these things? What? A fright bull? Okay. Right. 
I don't know where we go. Look at the V man. This was the other way, right? Let's go this way. Because we didn't go this way. And see what we could have found. All the toads and hammerheads. This here. This pier with two barrels. With toad oil. I wish they give you some EXP at least. Not the full amount, but at least some. That would be a cheesy way to grind though. Off we go, because there's apparently nothing left. Let's go forward onto the cast. Can I hit the platypus? Yep. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, hello, good sir. How are you? Just don't mind me, I'm with my horse. Have you come far? Well, you're safe now. Helidor awaits. Once you're in the city, you can find a nice inn and rest up. Lucky old you! Yeah, we're gonna have to find a church first. So, let's head on to Holy Heliodor. And see what awaits for us. Stay here. Poison, a vicious and venomous ailment. Prison of physical poison will take damage every time their turn comes around. And this unpleasant fee- <sighs> Fine, I won't read, I'm sorry. Jeez, apparently I offended her or something. Heliodor, auto-saving. Ah, here's the church. Alright. Now I'm going to show you what the church has to offer. So as you see in the church is where we will be ending almost every episode unless a uh, autosave function takes place. I'll try to divide these episodes as well as I can. Try to divide them into possibly 30 or 40 minutes depending how much action there is. If it's a little slow I'll probably leave it to 50. I don't know. It'll be into my discretion, but I'm trying to make it shorter so you guys enjoy these videos. These are the stuff that you could do in the church. Divination, you learn how much experience each party member needs to reach a level. But you have that in the... Uh, in your character screen. You can resurrect allies. Allies here in Dragon Quest games are very, very different. There is just a very, very small spells or items if I am not mistaken that can revive you but they are very very rare most of the time you're coming to church to resurrect them that is thing you have to pay the church to resurrect them too unless this game changed it purification poison party members uh, any curses and divination as you heard tells you how much experience Say like this, or 197 to reach the next level. And this, you record your details and you log off, I imagine. But we're gonna explore Heliodor in the next episode. Oh my god, I want to keep playing honestly, but I, like you've always known, my first episode is like really, really hyped about the game.
and I'd like to continue this energy projecting onto the next episodes too. Which I do know most of my field stuff I was kind of a little bit on the quiet side. I am cutting out a lot of it because you guys don't want to see any of the, the stuff. I'm just showing you where the Chinese will be, where I find them at least, and where the chests are, which field exploration for me takes a long time, possibly an hour it took me, or 40 minutes, I don't know. I spent a lot of time on the field. And in the next episode, we are going to explore Heliodor, as I mentioned, possibly. And I am hyped about this game. I'm glad that I'm finally playing it. I know it's been released for over a year now, and I've had it on my PS4 for quite a while, but now I'm playing it. I'm so happy. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the videos, just like I am, and enjoying this new series, please leave a like and share. That always helps out. Subscribe to become part of Moonlight Army Team. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care guys, bye bye.